Welcome. Learning to fine-tune the GPT-4.0 model using the DPO technique. So today we're going to explore fine-tuning using the DPO method, which stands for Direct Preference Optimization. This approach allows the model to learn from example datasets efficiently. What is Direct Preference Optimization, DPO? Direct Preference Optimization, DPO, is a method for fine-tuning language models to align with human preferences, avoiding the complexity of reinforcement learning. Traditional methods like reinforcement learning from human feedback, RLHF, require training a separate reward model and then using reinforcement learning, example, PPO, to optimize the model. In contrast, DPO simplifies this process by directly optimizing the model using a classification loss function, making training more stable, computationally efficient, and easier to implement. How DPO works. 1. Data collection. A data set of human preferences is gathered, where multiple responses to the same input are ranked based on quality or desirability. This data set consists of input prompts, a preferred response, and a non-preferred response. 2. Optimization without RL. Instead of training a reward model separately, DPO directly adjusts the model by increasing the probability of the preferred responses and decreasing the probability of non-preferred responses. It achieves this using a simple binary classification loss making the process more efficient than RLHF. Three mathematical basis. DPO is based on the Bradley-Terry model, which assigns probabilities to human preferences using a log likelihood function. The loss function is designed to maximize the probability of preferred responses without needing reinforcement learning steps. Four, training stability and efficiency. Since no reinforcement learning is involved, there is no need for sampling loops or hyperparameter tuning, reducing computational costs. The method is as effective as or even better than PPO-based RLHF in improving model behavior. First, click on Home, then navigate to Azure OpenAI. Now click on Create to begin setting up a new instance. Next, either create a new resource group or select an existing one. Choose the region, as this helps determine where the model is deployed. Then, assign a name to your model instance and proceed by clicking Next through the setup steps. Clicking Next and then Next. Once done, simply click Create and your instance will be ready. For this tutorial, I've already set up an instance. Now let's move to the fine tuning section and click on Explore Azure AI Foundry. On the left side, select Fine Tune Model, then choose the model you want to fine tune. In this case, we're selecting GPT-4.0. Click Confirm, then select the fine-tuning method. Here I've selected Direct Preference Optimization, DPO. Assign a name to your fine-tuning model suffix as I've given testing and click Next. And proceed to the File Upload section. So in Training Data, select Upload Files, and you can upload your dataset files here. Training Data Samples from OpenAI. OpenAI provides training data that follows a structured format for DPO-based fine-tuning. A typical training sample contains system message, describes the model's role, example, assistant, coder, summarizer, system prompt, additional instructions guiding response behavior, user query, the input question or command from a user, preferred output, the best response based on human preference, non-preferred output, a less ideal response to help the model learn from comparisons. For validation data, only the input and user query are required as the model needs to generate its response based on prior learning. This is how the data format looks. System message, user query, preferred output, non-preferred output. This structure helps the model understand and improve based on human feedback. As I have created a data set, so I selected that. Now let me show you an example data set format. The input contains a system message followed by a system prompt. Then, a user query is presented along with preferred and non-preferred outputs. The preferred output is the correct response that the model should learn from, while the non-preferred output demonstrates an incorrect response. This helps the model differentiate between the correct and incorrect outputs. For validation data, you only need to provide the system input and user message. Uploading validation data is optional. You can skip this step if needed. You can upload your dataset files here. So I have selected validation dataset and click next. Next, you can adjust batch size by clicking on customize and also adjust learning rate by clicking on customize 
or keep them at default settings and click Next. Then, review all the selected parameters. In my case, I've used DPO along with custom parameters. Finally, click Submit and the fine-tuning process will begin. That's it, your model is now being fine-tuned using direct preference optimization. Another option available for fine-tuning is supervised fine-tuning, which can also be used to enhance the model's performance. In OpenAI's GPT-40, the fine-tuning costs are as follows. Input, $3.75 U dollar per 1 million tokens. Cached input, $1.875 dollar per 1 million tokens. Output, $15 dollar per 1 million tokens. Training, $25 dollar per 1 million tokens. If you choose to fine-tune on Azure OpenAI, there is an additional hosting cost of approximately $1.7 dollar per hour. However, on the OpenAI platform, there are no additional hosting costs. Thank you for tuning in. Let us know in the comments if there's a paper or topic you'd like us to explore next.